One of the apps that people use for customer reviews is Yelp. And on Yelp, you can look up local restaurants, you can look up an auto shop, you can look up a hair salon. There's lots of different types of businesses that are on here. So restaurants, coffee, tea, auto repair. And if we just go to restaurants, for example, Yelp is going to use a location. That's good. Location's turned on. So these are going to be restaurants that are around me where I am. It's currently 8.05 a.m. and I'm on campus, so things start to perhaps slow down a little bit once we have more, more students on campus. So if we look at Good Luck Grill, for example, Good Luck Grill has 160 reviews, and we go to it, and then we can see if we can start finding some of the reviews that are here. So what it says is Max says, I don't know if the manager read the previous bad reviews or what. Oh my, you ain't gotta do it wrong. All I wanted was to feed my face lunch today. Is this place classy? Oh my goodness, what does classy mean? Okay, so here's me. I could tap to review it. Place has some good food. Uh, place has become a special place for our family. So a mix of different reviews here. So here's a two-star review. So are these reviews important to the business owner? So if it's a small business, I'd say that reviews are a little bit more important because what we're going to find is it looks like it's mainly the independent, independently owned businesses here in Maynard that are, that are using this. So that taco stand, what has happened when folks have stopped by that taco stand, 18 reviews, and here's a four and a half star review. And Yelp has some terms of service. So some of these reviews may violate the terms of service and the owner could actually uh, work to have those, the owner or marketing manager could work to have those reviews removed. But one of the best things for an owner to do is to, to respond to these reviews. So here's some other different uh, restaurants as well. So that's just one app that works with customer reviews. There could be some stuff on Google as well. When you get into, into Google Maps here and look for different, different places, sometimes these things that are on Google Maps haven't been claimed. So they haven't been claimed. And what I mean by that is, for instance, Mainer Athletic Complex, if we look at it, it could have bounced us. Did it bounce us back over to Yelp here? It kind of looks a lot like Yelp, right? Let's go back into here. If we look at Good Luck Grill. So this is actually Good Luck Grill on Google. American Restaurant. There's an overview. And then here's some different photos. Here's View the Menu latest photos, and then here's some reviews as well. Small, pl small place, a bit crowded, but they are renovating, so they are getting a little bit bigger. So this looks a lot, looks a lot like Yelp, but I'm still in Google. So that's another option for looking at reviews of different things. Facebook, of course, is one where people are reviewing things as well. Um, so you see Facebook right here. And then if you go into Facebook, it may be, you can check in at different places we can see here. Um, and then here's something of my wife and I from Halloween eight years ago, because today is October, October 30th. So this is, so that's another place you can leave reviews. And then Foursquare is, is a city guide that is somehow tied to the app Swarm, spelled S-W-A-R-M. So here we have Manor Senior High School. And it looks like, have you been here before? Help others see what's here by taking a photo. So this can be populated with additional information that talks about the school. So nothing's been populated here in Foursquare yet. And then the one that Foursquare is somewhat tied to, I don't know the exact agreement they have, is Swarm. So I go into Swarm, and this is where I've checked in at different places, added stickers, you can leave reviews. And when you look at it, I have a a profile. Let's see here. So I've checked in at 53 different places that, that make up 23 different categories. So the categories of different places are restaurants, barbecue joints, and a breakfast spot. Okay. 
And then if we go back here, I should have a profile photo. So I took this at a Ross Dress for Less and I ended up not uh, buying that jacket. It was a guest jacket that was really painted like that, but it was about 15 bucks, but I did not buy it. So I was at Joseph's Steakhouse here on October 11th on my birthday. Uh, this is going to the uh, Platinum Gymnastics, which you can actually become the mayor of a specific place if you're the person who has checked in there the most. So this is another site where people can leave reviews of businesses.